Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to move from your old iPhone to a new iPhone, such as the iPhone 8 Plus or iPhone 10. Now, I've done some other videos to show you how to do this with previous versions of iOS, but if you're on iOS 11 with whatever version you have, this will help you here. If you're not, I have other videos with previous versions of iOS that I'll link in the description below and cards above. Now, obviously the first thing we wanna do is turn on the new phone. So I've done that, here's my old phone, and this will bring everything over from this phone to this phone, including all of the apps, all of the app data, our old text messages, our music, as long as we're using iTunes, or if we're using iTunes Match or, I, or Apple Music, it will all come over to the new device. If you're using something else, you'll have to actually sync that later. So the first thing we wanna do is tap on this, and immediately, because I have this phone next to this one, it says, do you wanna use your Apple ID to set up your new phone? So I'll go ahead and hit continue. This is on my old device. Now it's waiting on the other phone. So it turns on the camera. We just simply move this phone so that it sees this. Now it connects and it immediately asks for your password. Now it wants the password on this device of your old device. So we'll do that now. Now I've added the password to this phone. It says it will take a moment to activate. Now at this point, you'll probably have to put your SIM card in from your old phone to your new one, unless you've got a new SIM card. And the first thing it wants me to do is set up Touch ID. So I'll do that. Now it's setting up my Apple ID. And the nice part about this is I don't have to enter it a bunch of times. It will just set it up. Now here is the part that's really nice that it didn't show before in the previous versions of iOS. So here it says you have a backup from today at 1.20 p.m. Do you want a backup on your old phone before we restore that data here? And if you want all the recent text messages, you should probably do that. So I'll hit update before restoring or backup and you'll see it's backing up over here. And then we continue setting up over here with our terms and conditions. Do we want a settings from your backup? You can restore the following settings or customize them. I'm going to use the same settings so that they're a mirror image of one another. I'll set up my Apple Pay later in the wallet, and that's one thing you're going to want to be careful with because you're going to need those credit cards most likely to verify again. I'll set up Siri. Siri is ready, we'll hit continue. This is up to you if you wanna do app analytics or not. It doesn't share your information, it just shares if you have a crash or something like that with one of the apps, so I'm okay with that. And True Tone Display, you can see this one does not have True Tone, this one does. So to see it without True Tone, it's very blue. If I let go, it kind of dims. And it looks much better in person than it does on camera. We'll hit continue. And now it's going to wait for this backup to complete, and then it will restore it over here. It says about three minutes left, and then it will start its restoring. Now you can see it says finish on your new iPhone. This iPhone's transferred all the data it needs to. We hit OK, and we're done. And one thing you need to know is this is going to be dependent on your internet connection. So depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi or whatever you're using, restoring, it will change depending on that. So if you have a slow connection, this will take longer. If you have a faster connection, obviously it'll be much quicker. I have a pretty fast connection and it's going along nicely. Now, what will happen is this will fully restore, it will reboot the phone, and then it will come up just like this, but without all the apps installed yet. So it takes some time to move all that data. It also moves your photos, as long as you have iCloud photos on, and everything just like it is here. The only exception is you'll need to put in your password for many different things, such as Twitter, you may need to verify there, or Gmail, anything that uses Google or Gmail, you'll have to verify again and anything basically that you need secured, it just asks you for your password again. So as long as you've got those, you're good to go. I'll wait for this to complete and I'll show you what I mean. We're waiting for the phone to reboot. Once it completes, we'll be back up and we'll be able to use the phone. However, if you wanna use the other phone while you're waiting, you can just swap the SIM cards back. There's no harm in doing that, you'll be able to use it. But it's just about ready to go. So we'll wait for it to come up. It asks for our password, so I'll put that in. Now it's come back up and it wants me to pair my Apple Watch. And in order to pair my Apple Watch, I need to reset my Apple Watch, which is right here. I'll need to reset that in order to use it with the new phone. So I'll do that later on. But right now I'll need to re-enter some passwords. You'll see it looks identical. Everything's the same, but it needs to install all of these different apps in order to move forward. So I'll wait for that to complete. And that's it. That's all you have to do when you're done. Everything will restore. Your photos will be there. Your messages will be there. Let me show you the messages. So you can see on the old phone, here's my messages. Here's messages on my new phone. They're identical, pictures included, and everything. 
everything will be identical as far as that goes. Also, the one thing to note is if you want to delete this phone, you can safely do that and it won't wipe anything over here, but you'll have to do that under settings. And then you go down to general, go down to reset, then you can erase all content and settings. Before you do that, you'll have to turn off find my iPhone and that's it. You'll be able to reset it and nothing will wipe from the new phone. But if you delete pictures individually or texts individually, they may delete from your new phone. So just keep that in mind. So that's it though. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.